Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's Jimmy Dore Show. I am joined in the studio by hilarious comedian and author of Morning Remembrance, fake obituaries of real dead people. It's Ham Radio's Jim Earl. Hey, Jim, how are you? Hey, Jimmy. We're all going to die someday. Yes, we are. Also with us from the miserable liberal, it's our resident Latina, Steph Zamorano is here. Hey, Steph, how are you? I'm doing great, Jimmy. It's we, a pleasure to be here. We missed you last week. You were out singing your songs, doing your musical theater <laughs> th- stuff. Si, es verdad. Es verdad. We're at, uh, running the board today. It's Matt. How are you, Matt? Matt doesn't have a microphone. Is it Max? What did I say, Matt? It's Max. <laughs> it's Max, everybody. Thank Matt, it's not Matt. Thank you very much. I'm doing fine. All right. Let's do some jokes. Thanks, Max. Let's do some jokes before we get to the jokes, huh? You know, I was wondering why I felt so horrible and empty and hopeless. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I remembered that I just watched the Fantastic Four reboot. (laughs) About a good movie, I guess. Is is that some sort of science fiction thing? I guess so. Comic book thing? North Carolina, huh? The anti-gay... Legislation, they are getting sued by the federal God, They really want to, they really want to hate the gays in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. They really do. <laughs> they really do. You know, all North Car- Carolina GOP employees, did you know this? They must wash their hands of tolerance and basic human decency before returning to work. Did you know that? <laughs> you don't want that in your soup. No, you do not want that. <laughs> or on your salad. Uh, you know that uh, t- on Cinco de Mayo, Trump, Donald Trump to show how much he likes the Mexicans is uh, he yeah uh, he tweeted out a picture of himself eating a taco bowl taco bowl and uh, you know the taco bowl thing was fine for Cinco de Mayo but for Mother's Day Trump <laughs> tweeted out a photo of him eating a bag of dicks isn't that weird <laughs> anyway you know, I heard that one of Trump's delegates to the GOP convention is a white nationalist. Did you guys, did you hear that? Yeah, one of his yeah. delegates to the convention is a white nationalist. And I was like, hey, I didn't know Trump was allowed to be a delegate. <laughs> you can be your own delegate. You can be your own delegate. Uh, you know, Trump saw uh, his first class of, he, he saw his first classified CIA intel briefing. Do you remember it? Remember, remember? Remember, George Bush got one of those. It was called Al-Qaeda, set to attack inside the U.S. Remember that? And he ignored Mm -hmm. it. Well, Trump got his first CIA intel briefing, and the headline is, Trump determined to attack blacks, Latinos, and women inside the United States. (laughs) That's what it says. That doesn't sound good. That's what it says. That's what it says. You know, if the news pundits were around during the civil rights era, they'd say that whites were lynching blacks because of populist anger. You see what I'm saying, right? <laughs> yes. We, all right. We got it, yeah. Yeah. You know, Trump, tr- did you hear about Trump's butler? No. This is a true story. Yeah, Trump's butler on Facebook uh, said that he was uh, wanted Obama to be killed. On face- That's Trump's butler. You know, Trump's butler is a racist who wants to kill Obama, but that was the job description that Trump lay. It said, butler wanted must be racist who wants to kill Obama. <laughs> How can you argue with that? That, that was, was the job. That was the job description. Uh, Must be a racist who wants to kill Obama. That's what, you can't. Why not? Every uh, every day, uh, his his butler drives Trump into the 18th century. <laughs> 18th century. <laughs> All right, we got a lot coming up on today's show. We got phone calls today. Bernie Sanders is going to call in. We're going to have a little chit-chat. Oh, and Barack Obama calls in to give me the business today. Plus, we're going to take a look at Bernie Sanders dressing down Alan Greenspan in Congress. And then we're going to take a look at Alan Greenspan's wife doing the worst journalism ever with Bernie Sanders. (laughs) We're going to take a look at that. Uh, Plus, even Fox News is catching on to the fact that Hillary Clinton is a horribly flawed candidate. We're going to take a look at that. (laughs) George Zimmerman, back in the news, he's a worse person than we could have imagined. So he gets a medal or something for that. He's selling the gun he used to kill Trayvon Martin. He's selling it. He's putting Uh. it up for auction. Uh, Hey, there was... uh, Dave Weigel falls asleep. Our favorite Washington reporter falls asleep 
when he's doing an interview on the Hugh Hewitt show. Plus, we got fake skin. There's fake skin. There's a lot. And plus, a lot, lot more. There's, you know, there's fake killer whales that eat sharks. That's fake. They're fake. They're not real killer whales, but they still kill everybody. That's coming up. Plus, a lot, <laughs> lot more. That's today on the Jimmy Dore Show. 